two points of contact is the traditional method that we have used for many, many years in Tellington Tea Touch for loose lead walking. We also refer to it as meeting and melting, and it's sometimes called pressure followed by release. What we do is a harness with two points, with two connection points, and a double-ended lead. We run the lead over the palm of our hands, thumbs pointing down at the lead clips. We don't want to be holding the lead on top because if the dog should pull, we're going to be make, we're going to be pulling upwards on the dog, and this can be not very pleasant experience for them. But by having the, ha the leads running over the palm of our hands, thumbs pointing down, if the dog should pull, we can just give a very gentle squeeze, followed by a release. As we release, we want to be stepping forward we want to try and move into the dog's peripheral vision. We ideally want to be bringing the hands forward. The tendency is if a dog should pull is to bring our hands back. But if we can step forward, bringing the hands forward, looking where we are going, we are going to help the dog walk into their own balance. We don't want to get behind the dog into what we call the water ski position because the dog will naturally go into hard lean opposition. So all the time we want to be stepping forward, we want to be getting into the peripheral vision of the dog. And I'm going to step forward, bringing my hands forward, keeping up in the peripheral vision of the dog. Ideally, I don't want to be using food because what will happen is the dog will be looking round at me for the food, getting themselves off balance. But with, that, but with this method, if the dog can look forward, the dog can be in balance, I can be in balance, we're going to find it a lot easier. So let's give this a bit of a try. Come on, Rapper, let's go. I've just got the leads running loosely over the palm of my hand. Give you a bit more enthusiastic. And as she pulls, I'm just going to meet that pressure, bring my hand forward, and release. So all the time, I'm bringing my hands forward, trying to keep forward into the peripheral vision. As I'm walking her along, if she pulls, I put a little bit of pressure on the leash, bring the hand forward. Pressure, step forward into that peripheral vision, and release. The key to this technique is remembering to bring the hands forward, releasing as you step into the peripheral vision of the dog. This is meeting and melting.